Patient Tuta East TCC in of Leobo mit Nordamerika, Agui Value Works in Advertising with Hope Party Keep Hutting in Eat. Welcome Mr. Yai Benjamin. Thank you, it's great to be here. An Advertising Gui Tag Dunsen Party Keep Hutting in Advertising. I think I just mean most of it sucks, so it's hard to get me to actually, you know, just as a reg, when I act as a regular person in the world, I don't. There's not a lot of things that pull me in and get me to participate, but when they do, they're awesome. What inspires Mr. Yai Benjamin? What inspires me? Um, Chris Milk inspires me. I used to ride. I mean, uh, if we're talking about specific people, but um, I just like anything different that I haven't seen before that pushes the boundaries of what we do. What's that cat doing down there, by the way? I think you have animals. Mystery and animal inside of you. I think somewhere inside of me I'm a I'm a chimpanzee. That's the animal I think about the most if I were to be something. They're smart. I like to think I'm a little bit smart, but uh they have a good time and they like trees and I like trees. To you like using animals to express your ideas. Animals have a real point of view in the world. You know, people can be a little bit confusing, but um, animals stand for something. You know, chimps are funny, parrots are smart, etc. Uh, when we were making the space chimp ad, we started um, by trying to figure out what would, who's been away from the world for 50 or 60 years and could come back to it today and see what we've done to the planet. And uh, the obvious answer, maybe it's because I think I'm a chimp inside or something, but uh, it, was, it was a chimpanzee or a monkey that had been launched into space and lost for years. I grew up in a really um, conservative white bread family in a wealthy neighborhood where I was probably supposed to be a banker or a doctor, so I didn't really fit. Tell me about your parents. Totally, totally different people. My dad, uh, you know, he was, I don't know if he's adventurous in work, but he was adventurous in life and, st you know, still is. He's sailed practically around the world a couple times, I think, and uh, my mom is the more creative one. Can you tell me a little more about your dad? My dad's a hard-working, conservative guy. He taught me to chop wood when I was a kid and I, it's funny, I think that's actually all the stuff like that that he made me do is one thing I've taken with me in work is I just work really hard. What is the biggest risk you took in your career? Actually, probably the biggest risk was uh, telling my girlfriend at the time who that I was going to move to Australia and we're married now and I've got a kid so it worked out. Australia? Australians are different than everybody. I think they do whatever the hell they want, right, Dr. Bulb? Like, seriously, if we think about it, America, Australia, um, it was a big risk, but something I just had to do. It was kind of an easy, kind of an easy choice when, and also, I should say, Nobby. <laughs> Um, the most important thing I learned from Dobby was to have fun. B pushes the fun thing a little bit too far sometimes. I think you could have had a clear time zone. Should did you come back to an epsilon? The challenge is good. You know, we're trying to do something different here in New York, and um, I like waking up every day realizing the challenge I've got. New York writes itself. A production by the people of New York. Interesting. If not in advertising, fear of rule you work. I think we're pretty lucky to do this for a living. I mean, look at what I'm doing right now. And, um, <laughs> but I, I'd probably work either for like a social cause or a wildlife fund. Last question, what scares you? I think the cat scares me a little bit. Little cat on the floor. Little tiny cat staring at me staring at me. And rules, and rules are the things that scare me. Thank you for much, Mr. Yai Benjamin. I hope you have a brain of Zoom assistant on your part of Prime. Thank you, Dr. Ball. Most importantly, thank you and your kitty, your little kitten. Thanks. Wow.